So what our effort today is, is for us to try to clear up this full season grass like you have in your lawn. And once we get the ground cleared, then we'll come back and we'll seed using a seed drill, a mix of native grass and also forbs, uh, prairie flowers, essentially. So this will revert back to the condition that it was in 150 years ago when Coach first came to Topeka uh, before we started to, to disturb ground for agriculture and such. So then the students from 501 and hopefully all around the state will be able to come and and uh, learn about prairie restoration, the value of prairies, why we want to protect them, and then uh, see this as it as it grows back over the next you know decades. It'll take a long time to grow back. In four or five years, it'll kind of look like a prairie, but we know that in fact all the things that are happening both above ground and below ground that makes a prairie a prairie take take decades, scores of years uh, to 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 revert back to how they were naturally. So, so the students will get to watch that and, and students will be able to chronicle that with their studies. There's already some studies been done out here by Topeka 501, uh, Topeka Public School students, and, and those will just continue over time with this new chapter in the development of this prairie. The ne neat thing that will happen too, of course, it will still be used for cross country uh, and a lot of other uses. It will be available to the public for walking trails. Um, hopefully bring people in to see Education Station and, and all the good science education that's being done here. But you'll see wildlife return too to this area. Things that haven't been seen here for years as a result of the, the grass and the flowers that will attract those in. In fact, in about an hour you'll start to see raptors come in. We'll, we'll look for the, the mice that have been disturbed by this fire now that they're exposed to red tail hawks and, and and the, uh, a variety of other raptors, but especially hawks. You'll see them on these trees looking for easy pickings for these, uh, these mice and things that are exposed by the, the burning of the, the cover. 